<laughs> Hello. It's uh it's windy and slightly rainy today. But that hasn't stopped us. Uh, my daughter's been over with her family this morning and we've been out to a local uh, a local gardens where they've got a pumpkin trail uh, in the run-up to Halloween. So that was lovely and it was great to see my grandchildren and uh, now I'm exhausted. But I thought I'd do a quick race around the garden um, in the drizzle so I won't be out here for long. Just to share uh, what's going on out in the garden uh, at the moment. So the raspberries are still producing fruit and uh, I'm picking that every couple of days. The artichokes are growing nicely. The brassicas are doing well. We've got uh, spring type cabbages coming on really nicely there. And now that the now that the broccolis have been let out of the cover that I had over them, uh, they're doing they're doing pretty well too. This is the bed that had the cauliflower in it on the on the far side there uh, that got caught in the rain and just turned to mush. Uh, so these are all looking pretty good. And the onion bulbs I planted uh, in this bed to overwinter have indeed come up all along the bed, which I'm really pleased about. The, <laughs> the runner beans, which gave me so many pounds of beans this year, are finally uh, they're finally getting some some decent beans in them, and they're starting to look, and so they're ready for me to pick. They seem to have taken a very long time to uh, develop seeds, those beans this year, uh, but I don't know whether that was just because I was picking them for such a long time uh, so that, that the beans that are on there now were really quite late in starting uh, or whether it's just been the weather but uh, they're coming now which is good and this brassica bed oh I'm pleased with this uh, the Cavallo Nero kale is uh, is done very well and as have uh, my Savoy cabbages which are <laughs> a really good size now. well you can see there's my hand, uh, they're a pretty good size. Uh, this one on the other hand, uh, not so much. It's been eaten and <laughs> what I don't know is whether they've been eaten by slugs or uh, the little chickens when they were in here. But whichever it is, I suspect that one that's very pale and very nibbled uh, will end up going to the chickens. There are a couple of squashes that are still doing reasonably well. Uh, this one I think is a, a Hubbard type looking at the little babies there. Now they're not going to get big enough to do much with um, but I'm letting them grow and that's actually planted in amongst the parsnips here. There was a small space uh, so I just popped a plant in there and, uh, and it's romped away. The parsnips have done really well. Um, I didn't put in so many seeds this time as I did last year and um, I think because there's fewer plants they've had more space to grow and they are, they are a goodly size. And the leeks are all coming on really well. We've started harvesting those uh, for the odd meal here and there. So they're doing very well. And in this bed, we've got a few of the uh, path nips, the ones that uh, grew in the path and I've transplanted them and some broccoli. And here we go. Look, we've already actually eaten some of it. Purple sprouting broccoli is just, oh, it's one of my favorite vegetables. Wow, look at the head on that. Well, looks like we will be having purple sprouting broccoli with our supper tonight. These cabbages are uh, January King and um, I've actually only grown them. While I'm saying they're January King, I think these might be spring greens. Anyway, I've grown these ones for the chickens, whatever they are. <laughs> Whichever brassica they are, they are grown for the chickens and uh, and they'll love them in the winter. And around this side, well, there we go. That definitely looks like a, a January King cabbage. It's got that slightly purpley tinge to some of the leaves. 
all good all good stuff and then over that side I've got a few more leeks I had intended planting uh, brassicas in here hence me putting the hoops over it but uh, I haven't got around to it and I ended up putting in the uh, a couple of black currant cuttings that I took the other day so they're in there instead the strawberry bed that um, I planted up after the potatoes uh, they're looking they're looking good actually they've all settled in nicely so I'm very pleased with those and in this bed I've got uh, rainbow chard which is likewise doing very well and um, we don't actually eat rainbow chard except for the stems so I give the leaves to the chickens and um, I roast the stems in a in a tray of mixed veg there's still some sweet corn there uh, which apparently is baby corn and I've been waiting this is what I've been waiting for I've been waiting to see the tassels dying off uh, to know that the, the corn is ready and this very beautiful plant look how lovely these leaves are this is an ochre ochre is a, a small knobbly tuber uh, which is ready in about well early December and um, before the, the frosts get too deep uh, they'll cope with a bit they're small smallish tubers uh, and they come in various different colors and they've got a slightly lemony taste uh, and you can just grate them raw into salads or you can boil them and use them like potatoes and in this bed here this is where I started planting the carrots I covered them over so that the cats wouldn't uh, wouldn't scratch the soil and lo and behold just here the carrots are germinating yep we definitely have germinating carrots which is a brilliant news because the ones in the summer uh, just didn't didn't happen at all uh, so yeah it is an autumn variety uh, designed to go into the ground about now and uh, sit there uh, over winter and just be be ready earlier than carrots would be if they were sown in the spring so that's it my autumn and winter garden which would seem to have little in it is actually packed with food and now I'm heading back inside uh, to get warm again and uh, make a cup of tea put my feet up for the afternoon and do a bit of research and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you're up to today I hope it's not as rainy as it is here and I also hope you can join me again tomorrow